I turned 29 in a few days and I am very single. I just have heard a lot of conversations lately about the dating culture, particularly here in Melbourne. I go on dates, I enjoy it, I dealt a lot of rejection. Um, and after a while you start to question what it is about yourself. There's only so many times that you can hear your great but. But to wonder what it is about me, you know? I so badly want someone to share life with and my heart is constantly open. A lot of people in my life have said, just take a break. Because that could be what I need to do. I won't get out what I want unless I put in the work. Maybe he's out there. Maybe you're watching Man of Melbourne 29 and above. You know, it's a really cool tradie. Maybe he plays AFL. <laughs> I don't know. You never know the power of the internet and I have hope and I hope that he is out there. If you're watching or if you know someone who should be watching, slide in. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. It sounds to me like you are going out with men who look way better than you. I'm just going to say it as it is, you know. Perhaps start giving those men in your friend zone more of a chance, you know. The problem is a lot of women overvalue themselves, okay. You see a woman who's a three, a four. She's going out with a guy who's like a nine. What do you think that guy is going to do? That guy just wants to hate. I'm telling you, that guy does not think you are at his level. He doesn't, all right? And But of course, his balls are full, okay? He needs to get it empty, and that's what he uses you for. Those guys that you reject, perhaps because they are too short, or they don't have as much money as you think they should be having, you know, start giving some of these men a chance. Those men who are not there yet, you know, learn that... You can give a man a chance and build with that man. And eventually, you and this man can become where you want to be. So I've been seeing this stuff going around social media where one minute ladies want to be independent, do their I'm own thing. And then the next, they want a man to take care of them. So my question is, women, as a collective, what do we really want? We keep saying we fighting for equality, which I don't know why we already have equality. There's no reason to fight for something we already have because the women before us already did that. So we're, we fought for equality and we were saying we were so oppressed and we couldn't work and a man wouldn't let us do anything. Now we're able to work and now a man say, hey, you work now, you should contribute to the household. Now it's why do I have to contribute? Another thing that's annoying, why is as black people, we're always comparing ourselves to other races? Stop acting like black men are the only ones asking for a woman to help out in the household. That is not the case. How many times you seen other race of women helping out in the household or helping out outside of the household? So we have to choose either we want to work and be independent and help out or we want to be oppressed and sit at home and cook and clean. Women have no choice but to contribute to the household if they want to be in a happy relationship. And this is for most women. That's because right now, almost everybody is underpaid. Let me explain what I mean. First of all, what determines an employee's salary is demand and supply, okay? Let's say only men are in the workforce. The minimum wage, for example, could be $20 an hour because there's only men available and men are going to work only for companies who want to pay that, okay? Now, if you throw women now in the workforce, all of a sudden, there's a lot of people who want to get paid. Employers can just say, hey, you know what? Instead of paying $20 an hour, I'm just going to pay everybody $10 an hour. If this man doesn't want it, that woman over there is going to accept it. And all of a sudden, everyone is now earning $10 an hour because there's a lot of available labor. So that's what it is, all right? So women, you are now in the workforce. Men don't make as much money as they used to back in the day when one salary could take care of a whole family. Right now, it can't because of you. So you have to contribute to the house. It is what it is. It's what you asked for. You want it to be equal. I don't know why you chose that option. It makes absolutely no sense when you could just chill at home with your children. It's, it's really, really silly to be honest, but 
it is what it is, right? That's what you chose. So deal with it. You have to contribute to the household. You have to. This is a list of jobs that my future husband cannot have. Number one, I've realized recently is a police officer. I cannot have a police officer and purely on the fact that what do you mean you are handcuffing another woman? What do you mean? Sorry, no, thank you. Number two, quite obviously, is I don't want my future husband to have the job title as a masseuse or a massage therapist or someone who massages. Sorry, why are you touching other women? Why are you doing that? No, thank you. Number three is someone who works in customer service. Um, sorry, you're talking to other women? No, honey, uh, you're not. You cannot do that, sorry. Number four is a firefighter. I really used to love firefighters, but recently, no thank you, because what do you mean you're saving other women? What do you mean you're rescuing other women and putting them over your shoulder? Sorry, no. Sorry, not happening. Number five is pretty much any job that you have to work with other people. Um, no. You can be a businessman um who works on his own that's literally the only job title unfortunately i will or if you work with other men fine i'll let you off on that one i'll let you off but if a woman comes around unfortunately you have to quit the job yeah yeah definitely a future cat lady that's that's almost 100 percent guaranteed i mean there's a reason why america has never had a female president and that's not because women are not qualified or anything like that no it's because women hate other women i'm telling you women who never vote for another woman to be president and right here is proof okay everything she said think about it it's got nothing to do with a man it's got something to do with the fact that this man is doing some kind of a service for another woman she doesn't want that she wants the man to only talk to her she should be the only woman in his life. If he's a firefighter, he should not be saving other women. Yeah, I mean, by the way, I hope this TikTok was a joke. Uh, you know, I think it's a joke. I don't really believe she's serious because if she is, then she's absolutely nuts.